What about the angels in the book of Jude? What did it say about them? They were chained until that great day, which is the tribulation period. What period are we talking about here in the book of Revelation? The tribulation period. I could be wrong. There's always that possibility. But it appears that the angels that are chained in Jude are the same angels that are bound in the river Euphrates waiting to be loosed during the tribulation period. And remember how I said that these, these angels are to be loosed during the sixth trumpet. And when we look at the fifth, sixth, and seventh trumpets, there's something special about them compared to the seals and the other trumpets. They are known as the first, second, and third woes. And when we get to the sixth trumpet, and the reason for that is the first woe is bad. It's like a woe. You get to the second one, it's like, whoa. You get to the third one, it's like, whoa. <laughs> it just escalates. And here we find that God is preparing the world to receive Christ, and Israel is receiving judgment. And here things didn't just go, whoa, but now we're to the medium point of, whoa. And we find that these angels are now being released from the bottomless pit, which God had reserved in chains from the very beginning. And we, what do we say about the way that angels are, how God <coughs> dealt with the angels in the very beginning? Some are bound, some are in the pit, concealed, and others are loose. Why is that? Because of what they've done. Because of what they're done. Whatever their crimes were, it was so vile and heinous. Heinous that God reserved them for their punishment. But think about this. What if the world took Hitler and said, you know what, because of that, we're, we can't kill you, but we're going to bow you up in chains. But then all of a sudden, for judgment on somebody, they left them loose. Chaos. Is that going to be worse than a normal person? That they might bow in chains and let loose? I think so. These demons appear to be maybe more powerful and more... I shouldn't say more powerful, but more violent and heinous. Can you imagine the chaos that they're going to cause when they are loose? God chained them up for a reason. Whatever their crime was. And now they are to be released. And they will inflict their heinous crimes upon the world. Things are getting worse during this point in time. But here we're talking about end time demons. And I wanted to bring out something that I hope that maybe you didn't think about before, that God has <coughs> demons preserved in judgment. And that there is a hierarchy. And God is, has inflicted punishment upon them according to their crimes. Not every demon is treated the same. Just like God doesn't deal with us all the same. He deals with us on an individual basis. Because of our actions, our thoughts, our words. And God does the same thing in the spirit world. It doesn't matter how we look at God. It doesn't matter, and I know I realize now I use the words, term spirit world, but it doesn't matter whether you're in heaven, hell, or earth. God uses the same justice because he's the same God. Any thoughts, any questions at this point? Was that a four angels that were found up in the river of crazy? Yes, sir. And uh, each one would be Jewish at a certain time or they all four of them at the same time. It appears that they're all released at the same time. Now in Revelation chapter 9, was it 14 and 15 we read? Yeah, all released at one time. Lose the four angels. And there's going to be habit on the earth, but each one will do something different, aren't they? I would believe so, sir. Yeah. Because when we look at spirits, they have different personalities as well. Not every demon is the same. They don't all work through, if you want to say, one copycat network. Not They, they don't all function the same way. Not all the same weapons work on them. Each demon is different. We have to come back each one differently. And I shouldn't say 
in the fact that their weaknesses are different, their strengths are different, their, ro their role and rank in the devil's um, army is different. Don't get me wrong, the tactics work. Our weapons are not uh, weak, but they are mighty and powerful because they're pulling down strongholds. But demons all have different personalities, just like we all have different personalities. So, yes, they would, because we're talking about, we've already talked about the spirit of Antichrist. And I think God is going into your mind I wouldn't say that so much, brother, from the mere fact that they have their own will. They're going to do whatever they want. God's just releasing them to do, fulfill His will on yeah, earth. That's what he's yes, sir. yes, sir. Any other thoughts? Any other questions at this point? Regardless of what we're looking at, and personally, I'm not planning on being here to see the four angels released. I mean, it probably won't be seen physically anyhow. The only way it will be manifested is through the destruction and the chaos or whatever is brought about during the tribulation period. But I plan on having a whole different mindset in that time. I plan on being in a whole different location. I plan on being around the throne, getting fitted, and preparing for the great feats. The world can have the great tribulation. I haven't earned that. God has spared the church for the wrath to come. But at the same time, it just gives us greater insight. Even as we're studying this, like I said, it gives us greater insight to who God is and how He works. You know, He deals with them on an individual basis, just like He deals with us. They're not all the same. We're not all the same. But it doesn't matter. God is the same God, and He displays justice, true justice, all the way around the spectrum. Why don't we just end here for the day? Thank you.